Hello from Bug Eye Guy. Here's a 1960 Bug Eye that's a bit unconventional. That's an electric Bug Eye Sprite. You're looking at about 168 volts of battery packs all hooked together in series underneath those nice Lexan panels. And you're looking at a controller unit on the left there with a whole bunch of heavy gauge wires plugging into it, a safety plug, a cooling plate underneath the controller. You're hearing the whine of a cooling pump, which is in the bottom right of your screen. You see a charger box to the far right, and this is one of our favorite bug eyes yet. I'm going to sneak out of the shop here and take you for a fun drive in this thing. This is our second bug eye a prototype of sorts because it's different from our first unit, but it is going to a client's home in Maryland. This is a car that was stagnant, sitting idle in his garage for many, many years collecting dust. He wanted to bring it back to life. He wanted us to make it electric and uh, put it back on the road and to do something different. And we're almost there, ready to ship this thing. It's just going through testing now with the nose off. I wanted to shoot some fun video for you. You should be able to see how much torque and pleasure there is in driving this thing. I'm just kind of climbing up and down through acceleration, deceleration, regenerative braking, and it's a lot of fun. You can hear it whirring down to a stop. That's because I'm off the gas pedal, and uh, that effectively activates the regen. The regen is a lot like downshifting into second and decelerating. Of course, it sounds very different. But the experience of driving is very much the same, and it's really, really fun. You see, I just want to keep doing it. Hard on the gas, and then off the gas for regen. And it, it's kind of an exciting way to drive a bug eye. You'll also notice the pedal linkage there. We've modified it to make it a single pedal, so you just have one brake pedal, of course, no clutch. This is a direct drive setup. And right about in a minute here, you'll see I tap the brakes once. Uh, you can see that linkage move, but most of the time, uh, right around there, I'm not using the brakes at all. I'm using the regen to decelerate, and it's a lot of fun, sort of one pedal. There you go, there was the master cylinder moving, one pedal driving and it's just a very different way to experience a bug eye. Oops, we didn't have very good suction. We have very good electric, but suction was a little bit low that day. Fortunately, nothing was damaged. But anyway, there's the toggle switch right underneath the key, and that little cable is for calibrating the tachometer. That unplugs easily. That's a function of our electronic gauges that we use here. But with that toggle slit switch uh, and the key on and the toggle switch pushed forward, you've got forward gear and direct drive, and off you go. And it's really a wonderful, smooth, and high-torque experience. You should be able to tell if you've watched me drive through these curves in gas-powered sprites, you should be able to see I'm carrying a lot more speed. I'm generating more g-forces. I'm actually leaning more into the turn to stay, stay in my seat. And it's just because with this electric system, you generate instant power so beautifully. It's an AC drive motor, and it just delivers the torque to the ground so smoothly you really are driving faster through turns that you might be familiar with in your gas-powered British car. We are uh, available to convert your Sprite to electric power, and we're hoping to have a kit, although it's a little complicated right now, a little difficult for a home installer to put one of these in but we're working on streamlining it, and we're just delighted that it works so nicely on these prototype cars. And uh, now we're doing a lot of testing before we deliver this one to the customer. We've also gone out of our way to try to retain as many of the stock Sprite features. You'll notice the interior is almost completely stock. Of course, you're missing the shift lever and the exhaust node, and it changes the experience. It's very different. But at the same time, it's still a very beautifully balanced Sprite ride. The weight is about 50-50 distribution, which is just what we intended by putting batteries in the fuel cell area, the fuel tank area. And we've got a wonderful electric option now. This is the electric Bug Eye from Bug Eye Guy, and thank you for coming with me today.